Today's video is about mayonnaise, because squirrels can't be trusted. Wishing and praying are the same thing. And you guys can help me prove this. Right? I'm an atheist, so I don't pray. So I need, like, the Christians and the, uh, I don't know, the Muslims, like, anything else that prays. All right, if you pray, perfect, you can participate in the study. All right, so here's, here's what I need you to do, okay? I need you to stop praying for, like, a month. And instead of praying, I need you to replace that with wishing. Instead of praying for things, I need you to wish for them. And after, like, a month, let me know if the effectiveness has been reduced at all. Because I'm working on the assumption that wishing and praying carry the same level of effectiveness, but I can't prove that because I don't pray. So I need people who actually pray to, to replace prayers with wishes for like, I don't know, 30 days. We'll say 30 days. And I think, and give it a fair shake. All right, actually give it a, give it a fair chance, okay? None of this, I don't want you to do it for like a day and be like, fuck this, I'm going to pray and then like lie at the end. You know, don't do that. That's dishonest, all right? We have to be fair about this. Now, I have, like, it's an anecdote, so it doesn't count, but, you know, I have this anecdote where, um, where I got this idea from, really. Um, I once paid a homeless guy $60 to take a crap in a wishing fountain. You know, there's, there's, they got the fountain with the water, and, you know, they're, they're at malls and shit, and the parents give their kids money to, like, literally throw away into the fountain. I right, one of those, I don't know if they exist anywhere else in the world. I know, I know they exist here, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm one of those, you know, wishing fountain, whatever the fuck. So anyway, we go to the mall, told the homeless guy, you shit in the fountain, I'll give you 60 bucks. So he does it, and when he's done, I pay him, I, I, I cover his mess up with 6,000 pennies. I, you know, paid him. But that, yeah. And I'm sick and tired of this double standard in America where Benjamin Franklin can go around electrocuting turkeys and he's an American hero, but when I do it, they put me on a 72-hour hold. And I'm, I'm really sure. Mm -hmm. I am certain that that cop took some additional liberties during the frisking. That wasn't cool. That wasn't cool. But, you know, in my defense... How the fuck else am I supposed to dig up a corpse in the middle of the night without a flashlight? Honestly. And another thing, football. Americans love football, except for the Jews. It's the whole pigskin thing, I think. I don't know, it's not kosher. And I don't care, Europe. Alright. Soccer is not football. Football is football. Soccer is pussy ball. Right. You have to be 100% gay to be a soccer player. I'm sure of this. It's demonstrable. All right, look. I have kissed hookers with less passion than soccer players kiss after scoring a goal. All right? I know what you're thinking, but all this, you kill hookers. Uh, yeah, okay. Fair point. Uh, you know, all right. But... I, I, and I know, I know that there's li this list that's going around these, these YouTubers who have become uh, killers or whatever, and, and you just go ahead and leave me off of that list because I was a killer before I started shooting YouTube videos, so I'm on my own list. Thank you. Go fuck the dog. But, uh, I think that we can reasonably assume that most people kiss hookers with less passion than soccer players kiss after scoring a goal. I think we can reasonably assume that that's true. And I still have a score to settle with Alex Trebek. All right, 
Look, I don't want you to worry about this, all right? I'm gonna be smart about it, okay? I'm gonna use my head. Hello? All right. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly why Coke is a far superior product than Pepsi is.